Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Rooster's Recipe. Okay, so in this recipe, I'm going to be showing you how to make slow cooker potato soup and everything in this recipe are pantry staples. Okay, so first you're gonna go ahead and grab one bag of hash browns. I recommend a two pound bag. And I also recommend defrosting them first. I tried to do that, but I did not have enough time. So here you see me chopping up all of the hash browns. Next, I'm gonna add in this entire carton of chicken broth, or you can just use three cans. Now I'm gonna add in one can of cream of chicken soup. So next I'm going to be adding Auntie Nono's Everything Seasoning. If you don't have the seasoning, you can also just use salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. But I always have a discount code below if you want to try it for yourself. Next, go ahead and add in one eight ounce package of cream cheese and put your crock pot on low for about three to three and a half hours. Once my potato soup is almost completely done, about 30 minutes before finishing time, I will go in and stir up my cream cheese. I like to add some salt and pepper, and then I even add about a half a cup of cheese. Once I'm done with those few steps, I will just go ahead and stir it up and then I will add parsley to the top of it and let it cook for about 30 more minutes. Once that 30 minutes is up, I'll just give it a good stir and then it is ready to eat and serve and the whole family loves this recipe. It's super simple. You usually will have all of the ingredients that you need right in your pantry. So if you are in a rush to cook dinner or anything like that, this only takes about three hours. I like to top mine with some cheese and some bacon bits and call it a day. It is absolutely delicious. The next recipe we are making is white chicken chili, which is one of my all time favorite slow cooker recipes. I'm gonna go ahead and put my crock pot on eight hours low. That way it's already starting to heat up. The first thing I'm gonna put in is my black beans. And do make sure you drain your black beans before pouring them into the crock pot. Next, we are going to add in one can of corn. Next up, you are going to be adding in one can of Rotel. Now I'm going to add in my one packet of ranch seasoning. Add one teaspoon of chili powder. Then we're gonna add in one teaspoon of onion powder. Next up is one teaspoon of ground cumin. And last, but certainly not least, is one eight ounce package of cream cheese. All right, normally I would just kind of stir this around before I added the cream cheese, but I forgot. So, you know, it is what it is. You're just gonna wait a few hours, come back, the cream cheese will kind of be more melted and you can stir it better. And the chicken will slowly start to fall apart as it cooks, of course. You're gonna cook it on low for six to eight hours. So around five o'clock, it is gonna be nice and yummy and done for our family. All right, so our white chicken chili is done. How freaking delicious does this look? A lot of you in my last video asked where we got these bowls from. They're actually the crock pot brand. Pretty sure it was Target. If I can find them, I will link them down below for you. So I'm gonna add me one little spoonful extra to my bowl. I am going to also add some tortilla strips on top of my white chicken chili because that just makes it so much better. If you like trying new recipes, subscribe to our channel. Until next time, bye. bye.